like a 15 and a 12 box, like a, in the one box. Really? Um, very nice sound with a MOSFET power amp <laughs> that I made myself. Are you going oh, to do it's still working. I should do that in uh -huh. the garden or something. Like that. Or here? So I'm lucky to have with me today the boys, two of the, the hot players mm. from the, the new album by McSherry O'Brien and Jones Nicholson Watt. We've got uh, Mr. Watt and Mr. Jones. What was your experience? Did you enjoy the experience, gentlemen? Uh, it, was, it was a very enjoyable experience, considering we really hadn't done anything like this before as five people. It was just, it just was magical. It was great to learn the songs on the day. <laughs> no, that's not true, Tony. We had, we had the majority of the songs beforehand. Always, but there were some that were like sprung on us on the day. When I'd pick up my bass to play one song, they, they yeah. presented a different but, song. However, having said that, oh, uh, they were very, very natural. Very natural. And um, yeah. I think we did a really good job. I'm, I'm very pleased with... The result. And um, I think I giving think it a we showed listen. great teamwork. Yeah. The essential teamwork. We listened to each other. Dave was great. The engineer, producer. He was very. He made us feel comfortable. And I think that's the important thing when you record. You don't want to feel comfortable. Although there was one time, Tony, where I must admit, we did put you right in the spotlight, but you came through with sure. flying colours. In Look, the, and I, I think well, here he was time, sitting there trying to play this bass line that he barely heard before, and we just well, that song, that song, what was that song? Not there, not didn't, it didn't. No, make yeah, it, that yeah. was one of the great songs that didn't make it onto the but album. I still think we I should, think we should drag it out. It. We should drag out the songs that didn't make it and revisit yeah. them oh, absolutely. and try some preparatory absolutely. work, actually playing them live, which I think will. Um, I think there was nothing that we put down that didn't work. Certainly, what I think, you I um, think those, tear, tear it down. Tear it down. Okay. Yeah, no, I like tear it down. And the same with four. abuse. I think and that's got to be on the next one too. Yeah. And there was and another was one that had a very down. intricate sort of bass line. Oh. Yeah, remember it was folding yeah, back it was over like itself. A, it was like, do, 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 and, do, 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 and I used the, I used the um, electric piano sound on it. You know, so like, you go, I've forgotten half the tracks already. What was that track? Not Don't tear it down. It was, what was no, that? Abuse. Oh, it was abuse. That was abuse. That's abuse. Okay. That's abuse. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah, well, that'd be good to, and to revisit. Yeah. I mean, you've probably got, you, you boys have got another album ready. To oh, yeah, no worries. No worries. So, um, I mean, and, and, and I even, think, I know we'll, you know, make lots of money oh, down yeah. the track. Yeah. We just put that, put that put world. In. Isn't the world tour? Oh, I think back. we're all looking forward to retiring after this one. I think this will just set us up for life. This will set us up for life. And here's Paul O'Brien, who's just joined oh, us. Hello, hello, Paul. Hello, how Paul. are you? Oh, how are you going? Fancy you seeing you here, Paul. Fancy yeah. Seeing you. yeah. Yeah. Right. In and Tony, so, in Tony Watt's <laughs> pad. I think you should hey, get yeah. a shoot, few yeah. shots of the pad. This is like something out of Home Beautiful, is all I can say. It's pretty incredible. Well, when we bought it. He had, I think he had one bandolier sitting there and he had a guitar upstairs. Because this, this was owned by Jeff Crosby, the ex keyboardist. Now, we're going to be careful now. We don't, don't, we don't say anything. Great guy. Great guy. Yeah. yeah. Great guy. <laughs> and he must have a great thing for running water. Yeah. <laughs> nice that he left yeah. a few instruments here. Yeah, he didn't leave anything here. No. Two, no two good. pot plants, so, um, that's all, some dugout trees. How did you come across this mob? Because, you know, I mean, how did you get involved in this? Because... How did we get... Well... Yeah. Mr McSherry phoned me up one day with your previous album and said, we've been recording this album in Western Australia and we think we'd like a few keyboards. And I said, oh, that sounds all right. Uh, when do you want me to do it? Tomorrow, he said. <laughs> and, and he sent me the, 
you know, the files, uh -huh. and I had to listen to them, and I, and I sort of got them in my head, and then we went to Dave's place in Altona and did them the next day. Yeah. And then from that, um, we, that, that led to, to Paul saying, well, those West Australians aren't going to be here for the next one. Um, so we do you want to West do it Australia. again? And who, who will we get to play bass? And we both said, Tony Watt! And here he is. Here I am, out of retirement. <laughs> semi no, I've always been semi-retired. No, oh, well, yes. You know, the, yes. it's um, nice to come back, and I think I'm... Yeah. I think I'm tracking well. Yeah. Tracking very well. Yeah. yeah, I think my fingers and my ears are working well. Yep. Brain and cognitive, <laughs> you know, consideration. But I did in, had an injury, you know, during the, yeah. you know, have Leading walked, up. walked oh, back with... Get a close-up on that. You know, this is how committed I am. When I started in this band, I didn't have this. Right. And now I do. Look at that. And, you know, I'm going to get it turned into a tattoo. Mm. McSherry <laughs> O'Brien. Jones. No, can we have... I want Monjay. 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 Yeah. That's the name that I want. That's what we'll do. Mon Monjay, Moundjay. It's got an exotic, exotic. And have we, feel. Paul? Yeah. Now we got. We got. You. Yeah. You. 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 you, you red Paul? button. Yeah, it's on. Oh, good. I'm sure. It. It's on. Is it say recording? Red light says. So I record. So, the whole lot so of tell us, Australia. Paul. How did you get to be involved with yeah. Paul McSherry? Come on, just give us the well, plot of history. Sort of, oh well, no. We, so we were in seventy in the seventies. We were together, and then but I won't go for all that. So we caught up at Tom's Tom Kier's sixtieth birthday party, and um, actually Tom sent us a photo. And we were talking in the corner, Paul and I, and we're going like this, talking to each other, and we're going, let's get the band back together. Hey. And um, and, uh, and I'm thinking, oh God, you know, and he's thinking, oh jeez. And um, Belinda's next to me, and. I asked someone else, I can't remember, another guy, and Tom sent us a photo of it with little um, text, you know, text bubbles mm. going, and now my wife's thinking, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> and a friend's thinking, what the? <laughs> Why would they want to do this? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, no and, problem. Um, yeah. So yeah, this album was easy. I mean, we just got a couple of songs together, whacked them together, you know, just whacked it a bit together, whacked the drums, bass, down, and it's all done. Yeah. I think yeah. it's turned out well. <laughs> Yeah. And Paul, you would you like to know? We'd like to know. Were you happy with the uh, organisation? The organisation, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, look, it's been a good trip, a good journey, a um, a pleasure to play with all of you, gentlemen. Mm. I think it's really been. Uh, I've got uh, a question about the song. Z yes, by all means. How long have they been fermenting, the ones that you... Oh, so Brian's have been fermenting well, for about 50 yours, years. Yours, yours, yours. How long have yours Speak been fermenting? Speak for yourself, <laughs> princess. <laughs> <laughs> um, how long have my songs four, been four, fermenting? Four tracks of yours, yeah. How long does it take you to get a product done where you go? From, very, from the very... Well, you take something Start like American today. Hotel, and I've had that. I've had that riff for years. That bass riff, just that. I love the bass riff. I did a number of spoken word parts on top of it. I never found the right thing until I suddenly realised I had this one set of words, this one set of lyrics that it fit it. You know, mm -hmm. and it's that that. You know, the light bulb goes on, mm -hmm. and you go, "Wow, hang on, this will work," and it's in the right meter if I do this and this. Yep. But the joy of that particular song was um, this man here, Mr. David Jones, because mm. as soon as he put his part on top of it in rehearsal, mm. I just went, oh yeah. my God, oh, you know, this song's just suddenly, it's come alive. It yeah, just well, came alive on that think first Steve, time we did it. Steve Setegreen, mm. my, my piano teacher, for teaching me mm. about uh, some of those chord inversions. Yeah, but that, that's, mm. that's, that's what, and also the um, credit to Rob, the drummer, mm. Oh, for yeah. doing that great drum yeah. part. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, no, it, uh, it really holds it together. Yeah, yeah, so it's all that, you know. But that was just a case of pinging the three, mm, you know, there can be different things that come together. 
but other things you just have you have a riff you know how it goes mm. you have a riff or you have a line or something like that and it just well some some days the car won't start yeah and, some and days the car yeah that's right and then something happens and you have a fight with a have a fight with a with, with your, your beloved, beloved. <laughs> yeah with the beloved and it just sit down and it just pours out and it's better that it pours out on paper than any other way a lot of the time mm -hmm. because it's you therapy. get yourself into trouble otherwise yeah. so you know, cathartic. No problem. Cathartic song. And what about Mr. O'Brien's songwriting uh, well, process? <clears throat> um, some of those are old. Um, Donna was um, like a tongue-in-cheek song from the 80s. Mm -hmm. Done sort of, yeah, written in the 80s, mid-80s. Was there something. a Donna? Was there a Donna? There used to be this girl who worked in a veggie, veggie bar who was like amazing. And uh, everyone, all the guys were in love with her. And uh, they were all trying to tear Oscar out. But she had her, she had her mindset on someone else, obviously. But um, a good friend of mine was absolutely besotted with her. And <laughs> he used to go in there. And everyone used to moon dog. <laughs> because she was drop dead gorgeous. So that was just a song. Z that. Z they all asked Z me. Zucchini cake, thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Some fried tofu balls. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I wonder where she is now. <laughs> well, yeah, but she was really, really. Anyway, that was the song about that. And um, Promise of the Music was like. Mm, uh, Promise of the Music. I love Promise um, of the Music. That yeah. is, that's a standout. One day I was running, I was playing with another couple, couple of guys, and I went around, we we're just going to play. And I just picked up the guitar, and um, and all the chords came out. And when I was like, dun, 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 I just started playing it, and the whole thing came out. Mm. Like, just the musically it came mm. out, you know, and it was about really um, loving just getting together with everyone and having a play and playing, you know, so that's what the song But that's that stuff about when I was the just a boy listening to the radio, I can remember exactly mm. that feeling. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know, like lying in bed yeah. with, the, with, the, right, with yeah. the Chieftain portable radio, yeah. you know, listening to Stan Rofe for, mm -hmm. you know, those those DJs and just... That's, there used to be every now and then to be this great stream of music would come through, yeah, and just... That's what it was about, and that's just about the muse. And Ooh. the words came out later. I took a lot of time to write the words. The words Ooh. took ages. No problem. Thanks, oh, yeah. gentlemen. Yeah, mm. it's a a great outcome that we've got here, <laughs> and I think the the music's going well. And yeah. let's hope we can keep going for yeah. a little while.